hi everyone today we are going to discuss about the concept called as swagger so while discussing the swagger we have to say there are two services available in general one is soap service and another one is rest service the soap service uses wsdl what is wsdl in the sense it is a contract to specify what is the input and what is the output similarly the rest uses the contract called as swagger it is a framework which contains a various open api tools in order to maintain the contract of rest so we are using the spring boot application okay the spring boot application is helpful in developing the rest api so in order to maintain the contract that is what is the input and what is the output and the other documentation the documentation contents are maintained by swagger so let us discuss how to implement an application with swagger let us open the vs code okay let us press control shift p let us choose maven project version project language let us have a group id as swagger um, something dg1 like that okay so similarly the artifact id for artifact id also we will give the same one swagger eg1 like that okay so let us choose the packaging type as jar and java version we can choose any version and there is any compatible version which is uh, available in your system okay so i have installed jdk 17 so i choose uh, 17 okay so it is enough to choose the dependency spring web so i have chosen the dependency spring web so let us choose the folder where i am going to generate it is generating so we will click open yes it is open okay so now i am going to design a simple application uh, which is with the support of swagger let us design the project uh, to add a student name and college okay i am going to develop a project to perform um, the name to um, name of the student and the college of the student i am going to give the uh, name and the college uh, of the student as a input and similarly i am going to see the same as a output this is what my aim okay let us get into src main and java this is uh, my swagger application okay now i am going to create a controller let us create the controller as stu controller dot java yes 
its creator i am going to make it as a controller so act rest controller at rest controller annotation i am going to give after that whenever i am giving i am going to give um, the mapping path it is path variable okay at request mapping off at request mapping okay request mapping off slash okay anything you can give anything let us give stew but okay at rest mapping of slash st so inside uh, my student controller class i am going to create a array that is list array list okay i am going to create a array list uh, i uh, here it shows error uh, it's no, no problem because uh, I am going to create a model class with the name stu stu. Okay, I will create. We will create. Okay, and then I am going to give the method to get the values and to display the values through the annotation get mapping and post mapping. Okay, okay. Uh, in get mapping, I am going to have a method get stu here i am going to return the list the array list okay similarly at post mapping i am going to add the student um, and so here i am giving the annotation request body so in order to handle the request through the object that is the st will act as object as parameter the request which is uh, um, sent from the HTTP will be decentralized and handled by this object. ST. Okay. So uh, in that list, I am going to add this object ST, that is the request object, and followed by I am going to return the ST. Now I want to create the STU class. Okay. Let us create the STU class. STU dot Java. We have to give stu.java so here in that stu.java we are going to perform a simple getter and setter operation okay so i am going to give private string followed by a private string college okay let us click and generate getter and setter for name okay similarly we will generate the getter and setter for college okay we will do it so now we have to add the swagger now we have to add the swagger okay let us check what are all the errors there are some errors soon we will rectify those errors before executing okay we will delete the statement and we will perform the addition so stu is a array list dot we are going to perform add add of we have to add this st element there is no need of uh, index at all okay now after that i have to return I have to return the student object okay now i think the error is resolved okay let us save all and let us execute our project whether our project is uh, are running successfully or not let us check yes it is executing successfully okay i think uh, 
we have some errors also okay we will rectify it okay let us uh, check what is the error uh, the error is uh, the variables the variables are as the variables are, are not in a correct sequence the sequence in the sense uh, i have bring this variable to the starting of the class that is after declaration the getter and setter i place the variables uh, um, the starting of the class and i start uh, executing at that time it is uh, uh, executed successfully okay so after the variable the getter and setter it, this will be the perfect choice okay so the declaration of the variable followed by the declaration the placing of getter and setter okay so now it is executing okay let us go and let us check whether our project is executing successfully or not localhost 8080 followed by a slash and a stu yes there is no more data so it gives simply the square brackets okay let us include the swagger to our project okay so normally in order to add the swagger to our project we have to add the dependency spring uh, that is spring fox okay the earlier version of uh, the Spring Boot support the Spring Fox, but the newer version does not support uh, the Spring Fox. Rather than you have to give open MVC. Let us copy and paste the code is available in the internet. So you can copy the dependency code and you can simply paste it here. Let us do it. Let us paste the code. Okay, we have pasted the code. So this is what uh, the dependency code to support the swagger. Let us perform save all and let us uh, restart. So after adding the dependency code, we have to add, uh, we will add a config file also. This is optional only. So if you add config.java, the documentation, the perfect documentation will be taken place. The again I am telling it is optional one. Okay. I have a code, I am going to copy and paste the code. Okay. Um, so let us give something. Um, the API name as uh, student. Okay. Uh, sample application the student application let us name it's our own choice okay i have taken this code from the internet only you can also google it and you can also find it okay so let us have this code and let us uh, i think there are some errors we will uh, import the corresponding packages for the annotations errors are rectified okay let us execute it again okay. i think the errors are recovered okay, we will start the execution okay let us give local host 8080 followed by the swagger ui slash index.html this is what we have to give yes our title the student sample application these things we have given in uh, what uh, config file okay those uh, documentations are shown here okay let us click post and let us give try it out the schema is given
let us give the sub name student name and let us give some college name AEC <laughs> I am given AEC as a college name so let us press execute this the command is executed successfully so we will check by get method whether the particular data is uh, received in the same part that is slash stu okay, let us give try it out and let us give execute yes it is executed successfully okay we will um, execute in that is in the corresponding path also that is uh, local host ADAB followed by a slash student yes the same thing is the same data is resembled here also okay this is what the swagger it is a contract which specifies the input and output and we can add the documentation details also okay so thank you